frustration is now boiling over with the sudden closing of Zoot's dry cleaners. Customers still haven't been able to get their clothes, and Zoot's workers tell Julie McDonald their paychecks are bouncing. Well, you can see the clothes locked inside, left literally high and dry. Customers can't get to them, but it's Zoot's employees who are left the very same way. The entryway of the Concord Zoot store is littered with scribbled notes, customers begging for their belongings from the now bankrupt dry cleaning chain. She said something's really weird is happening. She didn't know what yet. Employees across 17 stores are in the dark just the same. After a Friday conference call sent them out the door jobless. I'm mad, I'm upset. The day before, Harper's payroll had fronted employees' paychecks per usual. After the bankruptcy filing, those direct deposits disappeared. This morning, I went to go get gas because I have to go job hunting, and my card declined. So I looked in my phone, and it said it was a reversal. The Attorney General's office is reviewing several labor complaints and referring employees to the Department of Unemployment Assistance to claim wages. I only had this part time job at $11 an hour plus a monthly Social Security check. So this may be peanuts to the powers that be. But to me, it's big. It's a big deal. In an email to customers, the trustee appointed by the court wrote, I am currently working with Zoot's management to finalize a strategy that will allow us to return to the Zoot's customers all laundry and dry cleaning in Zoot's possession. A hearing to possibly grant that emergency approval is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon at 2. Customers have received some updates by email, but employees have heard very little. In Concord, Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Julie, thank you.